It's the bead here back with another same game parlay. If you haven't watched my videos, what we try to do is get to 10 to 1 on our money. And today's game, what we are going to be focusing on is the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Kansas City Chiefs. What we're actually going to be doing today is something called correlated betting. So we think about a game script, the game script in my mind, the way this game goes, Chiefs get out to an early lead. Jaguars keep it close. The only way that they do that is on the back of Trevor Lawrence. So what we're going to do is look at building a parlay associated with Lawrence's yardage because he's going to have to throw for big plays and his receivers for the most part in order to get to that 10 to 1 parlay. So when you're in this game, we got the game up here at the top. They usually give you a recommended same game parlay. I'm not going to use that. Instead, I'm just going to go to the same game parlay tab right here. And the first thing I want to find is Trevor Lawrence's alt pass yards. Trevor Lawrence, I think, is projected. It was projected like 244. It's already gone up to like 252. I don't want to mess around with that, even though I think he's going to get 250. Again, I try to find positive money, and then I reduce the other ones to make it more you know, doable for me as long as I get to that 10 to 1 ratio. So I, instead of going at 250 minus 122, I'm actually going to go to 225 because I think that's super doable for him. Now, if Lawrence is going to get yardage, I think he's throwing to Chris, Christian Kirk. Christian Kirk played like 99% of the snaps last week. He's also playing out of the slot, which is the worst defensive spot for the Kansas City Chiefs. So that's where I'm going to get some money back. So I was met minus 225 here. Kirk can easily get 70 yards. He's had several games over 100 yards. I'm going to drop him in at plus 110. It's going to bring us up to 140. Now, if Kirk is getting yards going over his uh, – projected yardage. I also think with Kansas City, I think being the 31st in the league in defense against slot receivers, he has a good chance at a touchdown. So I'm going to go into this anytime touchdown and we're going to see these plus 190. So I think that's huge. So we're going to drop him in there as well. I trust that brings us up to halfway to where we want to get. The next person I'm going to look at is we saw Jacksonville just get destroyed over the middle last week. We all know that Kelsey loves to run, run routes over the middle. I don't want to mess around with Kelsey, you know, 85 yards. I think he could get there, but I think this is very, very doable for Kelsey. 70 yards and a big playoff game after a week of rest. Going to hit that one for sure. So that brings us to 683. And then I have a weird feeling because of the two high safeties that Kansas City plays and Etney being like one of the big proponents for the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars that, and he's going to get a lot of dumb or check down receptions, especially if they're playing from behind. So I'm going to go over here to receiving. Cause I don't know where at and he's in his, in the prop section. We got him at 18 and a half. I know last week, I think he only had one reception. I think that's a fluke. Also the chargers are really, really good against catch back or catch passing running backs. This is a very sneaky, good play. And we hit our magic number of 1254, 12 to, 12 to 1 on our money. I drop in the 50 like I like I said I would do last week. 627 is our payout. I think this is super doable. Lawrence 225. Kirk over 70 yards. Kirk with a touchdown. Kelsey 70 yards. Etney over 18 and a half. Remember everybody, 